dear to the prep. Today we will start a new unit for coordinate geometry. First lesson, which is distance between two midpoint, two points in the line segment. First, to, to find a distance between two points, it has to be a straight distance between the two points. First, to find the distance be between two points, let's say that I have a cat standing here at the point negative six and two, and the mouse standing there at the point six and seven, and I want the distance between the cat and the mouse. I can find this distance, the distance to find, to find the distance, it has to be vertical or horizontal distance. Now, the three lines here makes a right angle triangle. First, I can find the vertical distance if this point is six and two. I can find the distance between the two points, negative six and two and six and two. First, this is x1 and y1 for the first point. We know that any point on the coordinate plane, plane starts with x and then y. And the other point this is x2 and y2. To find this distance, we will find that y, y2 and y1 are equal. So the distance here will be between x and x1 and x2. It will be the absolute value of x1 minus x2 equal 12 units. Why the absolute value? Because the distance always has to be in positive length. I cannot find length with negative, so the distance here it has to be in positive. Even if it's negative with you, you will find the absolute value of the negative number. We will find the distance between the mouse and the same point, 6 and 2. So we will consider that this is x1 and this is y1, and the other point is x2, y2. We will find that x1 is equal to x2. 6 and 6, so the distance here is the difference between y1 and y2. So we will make 7 minus 2. It will give you 5 points. Now I have the length of this line. The, uh, the horizontal line and the length of the vertical line. To find the distance between the mouse and the cat, I can use Pythagoras theorem. Square root 12 power 2 plus 5 power 2 equal 13 units. Now, is every time I will find the distance between two points, I will make all these steps? No. Now, if I consider that I have a point A, x1, y1, and the point B, x2, y2, what shall I did here? What I did? I did here x1 minus x2, and there I make I make one y1 minus y2, and I used Pythagoras. This is our rule. The rule here is x1 minus x2 power 2 plus y1 minus y2 power 2 inside a square root. So directly I can use this rule to find the distance between two points. Not every time I will make all these steps. For example, if I have a 2 and 5, b negative 1, 1, find the length of a, b. If I have the line segment AB, this is A and this is B without the graph. It's not drawn and I will not draw it every time. I can solve it this way without drawing. So I will consider that A, this is X1 and this is Y1, this is X2 and this is Y2. I will use the rule of the distance of AB. This is the rule. I will make x1 minus x2 and y1 minus, minus y2 in the other point. So it will be 2 minus negative 1 plus 5 minus 1. It will give you 5 units. This rule, we will can find any length of any two points in, on the card coordinate plane. I have another example here. ABC is a triangle where A0 was 0 or A is the origin point. B, 3, 4, C, negative 4, and D, 3. Find the parameter of the triangle. Remember, 
the parameter of the triangle is the sum of the three sides of the triangle. So if I have triangle here, A, 0, 0, or A is the origin point, B, 3 and 4, C, negative 4 and 3, to find the triangle, I have to find the three sides of the triangle to calculate its parameter. So I have to find A, B, the side AB and BC and AC. I have here to use this rule three times to find the three sides of the triangle. First, to find AB. So this is x1 and B3 is x2, 0 minus 3. Y1 and Y2, 0 and 4 inside square root and square, of course. Don't forget the square equal 5 units. The same for BC equal 5 root 2 and AC equal 5 units. So I will repeat using the rule every time you, you want to find a distance between any two distant points. So the parameter here will be the sum of the three sides 5 plus root 5 root 2 plus 5 equal 10 plus 5 root 2 units. And this is okay to find the length with this way. Here, if I have point A, for example, negative 4 and 3. Negative 4 from x, 3 from y. This point is x and y. And I want the distance between A and the x axis. This distance between A and the x axis, I can count it from the graph. I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Oh, sorry, I have one, one, two, three. This is A start standing at three, so I this is at three units from y axis. And if I want the distance between this point and y axis, it's four four units away from y. Axis. Don't say that I am here standing at negative 4, so this length will be negative 4. This is row negative length. So I will say that the distance between the point A and Y axis is 4 units. It's always positive. So the distance here is here 3 units or the absolute value of Y. I will look at the point Y here. Is 3. So the distance between the point and the x axis is 3 points, which is the y of the point, absolute value of the y of the point you want the distance between, between it and x axis. And for the same point, the distance between the point and the y axis is the absolute value of the point's x. So the x here is negative 4, so the distance will be positive 4. Now, I, if I want the distance between the same point and the origin point, I will, of course, you can notice that this is a right angle triangle. This side is like this opposite one, four units. So this distance, I can find it using Pythagoras theorem, three power two plus four power two equal five units. What is three and four? The absolute value of X and Y. So I can use the point itself three times. If the point negative 3, negative 4 and the 3, so the distance between the point and the x axis is the absolute value of y, the distance between the point and the y axis is the absolute value of x, and the distance between the point and the origin point is the square root of x power 2 plus y power 2, and this is remarks. Number one, the distance between the point x, y, any point, is the absolute value of y, the distance between the point x, y, and y axis is the absolute value of x, and the distance between any point x, y, and the origin point is square root x power 2 plus y power 2. Okay, for example, complete. Number one, he won the distance between the two points 15, 0, 6, and 0. For any d two dis dis distinct point, we will use the rule x1 minus square root x1 minus x2 power 2 plus y1 minus y2 power 2 
which is x1 here 15 x2 6 you have 15 minus 6 power 2 plus 0 minus 0 power 2 equal 9 units number 2 the distance between this point and the origin point as we said in the remark to find the distance between any point and the origin we will make a square root of x power 2 and y power 2 for the same unit point equal 5 units number three the distance between the two points do a0 0, 0 and 1 is unit length find the a to find the a here we will make an equation i will find the distance with my way using the rule square root x minus x and y minus y and now he gave you the length is unit length unit length means the length here is one unit I will make an equation here of course a minus 0 is a 0 minus 1 power 2 is 1 this is equal to 1 I will remove the square root to the other side making power 2 to the 1 so a power 2 plus 1 equals 1 don't remove the root with power 2 you can't make this operation if there is plus addition or subtraction inside the root now plus 1 will go to the other side with minus 1 a power 2 equals 0 so a equals 0 so to find any missing in the two points we will make an equation using the same rule another example if the distance between the two points here equals 2 5 find the value of a the same I will make an equation for normal a here is x1 5 is y1 3 a minus 1 all this value is x2 and 1 is y2 so we will make a square root x1 minus x2 power 2 plus y1 minus y2 power 2 our rules so we will make here 3 a minus 1 minus a 1 minus 5 all to the power of 2 we will simplify this a little 3a minus a is 2a minus 1 1 minus 5 all to the power 2 is 16 inside the rule all this equal to 5 because he said that the length and the final equal to 5 length unit removing the square root is the first step it will be 5 to the power of 2 all the numbers inside the root equal 25 uh, 16 we'll go to the other side with the negative sign so the square root uh, the the brackets of 2 a minus 1 all to the power of 2 equal to 9 removing the square don't again as we said last example don't distribute the root or don't use uh, simplifying uh, canceling the root with power 2 if there is plus or minus the same here don't distribute power 2 power 2 we will remove it first so 2a minus 1 all is all this amount equal positive or negative square root 9 equal positive or negative 3 now as you take in second prep we will divide this equation into two equations now 2a minus 1 equal positive or negative 3 so I have 2a minus 1 equal 3 or 2a minus 1 equal negative 3 we will solve this equation first negative 1 will go to the other side with plus 1 so 2a equal 4 removing the 2 by dividing by 2 so a here equal 2 or 2a minus 1 equal negative 3 moving negative 1 to the other side but positive so negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 dividing by 2 because 2 is multiplied by a so a here equal negative 1 so i have here found two values of the letter a if the if you put them instead of a in the two points and uh, try to find the distance between these two points you will find that the distance will be equal to 5. thank you very much and uh, i see you next time